Does this book give you ultimate power? Is this the best investment book of the century? Whether you've seen the hype and are thinking about reading them, or if you have already read them, I will give you a quick description of the vibe of each of these books and also rate them from 1 to 10, with 5 being average, thinking, fast and slow. This is written by a psychologist. The main point of the book is basically that you can't trust your own judgment. The thing is, you judge things every second of every day, so saying things like I don't judge is just a straight up lie. Our brains have two systems, one acts fast and requires little energy, the other part of the brain requires more energy and we use it for instance when we are writing. The human brain is kinda lazy, so we use the fast thinking part much more often than the slow thinking part. But the book also says that we are capable of reflecting on our beliefs and actions in order to improve our judgment. You should read the book if you want to learn more about how your brain acts. The book has 400 plus pages, but it is fairly easy to understand. 8 out of 10. The Sudden Art of Not Giving a f This is probably one of the most popular self-help books, and I can't lie, it did help me when I read it. It uses some science, although the book is more philosophical than scientific, and it is written by a blogger, which is kinda sus. Its main point is that suffering should be used as a tool for growth. It's a short book and very easy to understand. It is mainly targeted towards people who find themselves in a bad place and need some encouragement. 6 out of 10. Rich Dad, Poor Dad. This is very hyped on social media, but honestly, I was disappointed. It tries to tell you that you should invest your money in things that generate money for you, like real estate. I think this is something most people know, but can't afford. And they don't really need to read this book to understand that you should invest your money instead of spending it or just saving it. If you're economically useless, then sure, read it. It is a very easy read and also a short book, but it's way too overhyped. 4 out of 10. 48 Laws of Power. This is hard to rate. Because on the one hand, I'm all for being in touch with my dark side. On the other hand, I feel like people say they like this book to seem like they know things you don't. It uses a lot of historical events to support its arguments, which is kinda cool. But the strategies the book provides should not be followed without any criticism. If you are very agreeable or naive in your belief about other people's motivations, then you should definitely read this book. But there are better books for those who want to be in touch with their Machiavellian side. The book should also be a bit shorter, and it does get really boring at times. 6 out of 10. 12 Rules for Life. I read this when I was 22, and Jordan Peterson at the time was my main idol. Politics aside, it did change my perspective on life and made me try to get my life in order. I realized how important small things are when it comes to your self-worth. It uses psychology, philosophy, stories, and religion to argue for its main points. It's a deep book and fairly easy to understand. Although Jordan Peterson is believed to only speak to young men, I think everyone that is interested in improving themselves should read this book. 9 out of 10. Have you read any of these books? If yes, then tell me what you think in the comments and I will see you soon.